Hello again everyone, I'm Chris Ciccatelli and this is DC On Point, where you can always find cool, unique and extraordinary places to discover in the DC area. Walking the streets of the nation's capital this evening, we found a very cool spot indeed. A place where shouting, you sunk my battleship, can be as much fun as screaming, Yahtzee. Welcome to the boardroom. Far away from smartphones, personal computers, and video games is Boardroom DC, where anyone can visit the world of yesteryear, where one can sit at a table and interact with friends and try to conquer, outsmart, or outwit. The Boardroom's mission is simple, to provide an energetic and fun environment and a destination where nostalgia lies in wait. So what is this place in a nutshell? Well, Boardroom DC is a neighborhood bar with flair that opened its doors in the fall of 2012. You know you are someplace different, someplace unique. Friendly smiles greet you as soon as you walk in, and just beyond those smiles is an open cabinet filled with hours of fun and games. Classic titles etched into your childhood memories, as well as new adventures to explore. Board games, card games, strategy games. You want to play it? Odds are, Boardroom has it for a small rental fee. And what would a casual game of Clue, Risk, or even Hungry Hippos be without an ice cold beverage? Two game themed bar tops are where you find 20 draft lines tempting you with a vast selection of micro beers and ales. And the bar staff always has a surprise or two of special selections on tap. Yeah, this is my kind of game room. Tables of animated gamers echo with shouts and laughter as games of chance, strategy, and discovery rule the night. And then it hits me. The magic ingredient that makes Boardroom the perfect meeting place for the young at heart, it's interaction. So lost are we in today's world of technology, texting, status updates, and more, Boardroom DC offers the kind of social environment that is eaten up by all who visit. Amy, Emily, and Jamie agree. I found these three friends playing the card game Five Second Rule upstairs. How could I refuse an invitation to sit down, play a hand, and get their thoughts on this very unique place? I definitely say the energy is really great. Um, it's just something simple to do, but still hang out with friends. It's fun to like get out of the house and like play a board game, and actually like be interacting with other people and have other people around you doing it, rather than being at home. And Paul Scott, here with some friends, still soaking it all in for his first time. It seems pretty awesome so far. I haven't been to a bar before where I've played board games, so I just think it's a nice change of pace. Changing up the scenery, I head back downstairs to meet up with Lou Daly, the heart and soul of Boardroom's excellent staff. She shares her thoughts about the timeless allure of board games and the amazing popularity of Boardroom DC. But I feel like uh, board games, everyone's a nerd at heart, and uh, you know, board games are just fun. And I think it also proves that board games are timeless. Timeless and uh, low-key fun. It's, it's, it's a cool idea, uh, and we're really glad that it's doing well. One thing is certain, I am not letting the night end without a round of my personal favorite. Would you like to play a game of Battleship? I would love to play a game of Battleship. With me? I would love to. Really? Totally. Okay. Because I would love to say I sunk your Battleship. <laughs> Ah yes, Battleship, the classic game of strategy. Let me tell you something, playing Battleship or any of the more than 40 games available in a setting like this is pure fun. You suck my Battleship! Even when you lose your first Battleship. For more information about the boardroom, jump online at boardroomdc.com or better yet, pay this unique destination a visit with some friends and let the games begin. For DC On Point, I'm Chris Ciccatelli. All right, is it my turn?